Hi, how's it going? My name is James Suhan. I am a graduate support engineer here at E1 Solutions. And today I'm going to show you how to utilize widgets to embed your data inside the fast tab and fact box sections of your cards within Business Central. So let me go ahead and hop over here. As you can see here, I am looking at a vendor card inside of Business Central. And I would like to create a widget that goes right here on the bottom that I can see data for vendor items related to this vendor. So I'm gonna hop back here into PopDoc and I've already gone ahead and created this widget as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up our vendor items widget. And from here, as you can see, I'm using the vendor items list from our Business Central connector. I have our fields brought in and ordered them in the way that I'd like with item type, item number, description, vendor item number, vendor name, and vendor number. Now, in order to embed this, we need to set a place for it to go inside of Business Central. So, I'm going to select my sandbox. Notice we have sandboxes, not production, because Business Central does not allow you to publish directly to a production environment. It has to go to a sandbox first. So, we're going to grab my sandbox connector. And for environment, we want our vendor card. We want our vendor card fast tab. So now we're going to go ahead and add a parameter. Or we're going to add an environment parameter. We want number. As you can see, there's many different, or we want vendor number. And we are going to grab our vendor number from here and we're going to grab that and set that so that way when we're viewing it we can only see the items attached to that vendor number and for our widget options we're going to go ahead and give it full functionality so we can fully manipulate it as any way we would like and we're going to do vendor number ten thousand, and we are going to preview this as you see we have vendor items here is our item number vendor item number our description and here is our vendor number. Now, if we were to change this to 20,000 and we refresh, now it grabs it from 20,000. So now it comes down to the point where we need to get this published into here. We could use this, but this is not the best way to do this. We do not want to use this publish button. It'll just cause problems down the road. What we do want to do and the correct way to publish it is we are going to open up our sandbox connector here. And once we go down, here's our sandbox connector. We're going to open that up. And you're going to want to come down here to the extension tab. Notice here right on top, vendor items, unpublished changes. So from there, we're going to want to go ahead and we are going to want to publish this. We're going to go ahead and publish this widget. And this will go through and push this widget into the fast tab section of our vendor card. This is that's where we want it to be. We have the environment parameter. So once it goes through and finishes publishing, it'll take a little bit extra time to finish up. And then once it's done, we should be able to see that widget embedded on our vendor card that we can view and it will be tied to that specific vendor based on the vendor number field. So once this finishes up, we should be good to go. There we go. All resources were published successfully. It says published. We are good to go. So now we're going to head here back into Business Central and look at our vendor card. As you can see, it's not quite there yet. One thing I always like to do, just to double check, is we just make sure that stuff is published. So we can always go to the extension manager. And from here, we can just make sure that our customizations is through. So pop dot customizations 1.0.55 should match the version down here inside of pop doc itself. As you can see, our latest build 5.5. So it has gone through and it is updated and published. That's like always a good way to make sure that stuff will show up. The same goes for query builder lists. Then we can ensure that it's been installed. So now we open up Fabricam, our top vendor right here. We'll let this load in. We've given it some time. Now you can see right here, we have our vendor items widget. 
it's not finding the records maybe there's just not any on this one but you can see what i'm saying because now we have this embedded here inside of business central to be able to view and utilize our vendors the same goes for fact box typically for a fact box widget we recommend using cards rather than an actual widget just because it doesn't sit very well in the fact box there's not a lot of space it can not look great but for that we'll just do this i'm actually going to go through and publish this but cards is what we're looking for cards obviously connector company and we're just going to grab that vendor items one more time there we go now we can choose the fields i'm just going to add in those basic ones item description item number item type vendor item number vendor name and vendor number we're going to add those six fields in and we're going to do vendor number as our header that's what we want to do we're going to pick that as the header so now obviously i'm not going to set parameters or anything but we go to preview we punch it in and it should create our card for us there we go there's our cards that we can embed into the fact box as always thank you for taking the time to watch this video i would we would love for you to stick around subscribe check out our other videos for any other things you need and as always have a great day and keep watching our e1 videos